Hi there, David Lee for the James Bond dossier. And uh, a couple of days ago, I was talking about my first experience of Bond on the big screen, which was The Man with the Golden Gun. Prior to that, I'd got a Corgi Aston Martin DB5, I'd read Casino Royale, oh, then my dad took me to see The Man with the Golden Gun, and then I, I read the novel, The Man with the Golden Gun. Um, and But after that, my next door neighbors, who I mentioned in the previous um, episode, they, um, they kept telling me, oh, Sean Connery was the best Bond. Sean Connery was the best Bond. And I used to say, no, no, no. Roger Moore was the best Bond. And uh, this was, you know, we were all eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, something like that. And uh, their opinion of Sean Connery was based purely on what their dad told them. Uh, mine was based on my limited exposure to uh, the Bond films being, uh, being Roger Moore's second. And so neither of us really had anything good to go on. But on October 28th, uh, 1975, all that changed because that was the date that Dr. No premiered on ITV in the UK. And I, I can kind of remember it. In those uh, days, m my brother, is five years younger than me pretty much exactly and uh, I think he saw the first half an hour of it before he was put to bed I um, can't remember what time it was on probably I don't know, seven o'clock or something like that I imagine and uh, so um, I, I watched the whole thing and uh, yeah I, I was hooked and I remember going into school um, I can't remember it if it was a Sunday or Saturday or Sunday that it was on but I remember going into school on the Monday and just everybody was talking about it uh, and it um, I, I was kind of uh, I think I was probably probably I probably switched to Sean Connery at that at that point it was just simple as that uh, it was uh, unbelievable uh, if you can hear some weird noise in the background it's my dog who seems to be having a wash uh, dogs have no respect for all this kind of stuff and um, okay, where was I yeah. Uh, oh yeah after that I, I do remember very very clearly I went to a, a local bookstore and I bought a copy of Dr. No and I read that so that was my third Bond novel and it was the first that I owned for myself uh, I, I very very clearly remember getting that it's one of the the panther uh, editions from uh, from the 70s uh, with the, uh, the with the golden gun and the girls posing over them so um, that was it that was my that was my second bond film and uh, I think at that point uh, it's safe to say that I was a hooked as a bond fan anyway but uh, it just cemented things further so um, then I had to wait for another six months or so until uh, from Russia with love. And I, I do remember that a bit more clearly. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that tomorrow. See you then. Bye.